Okay, welcome to Regis World Literature, Lesson 30. This is Les Miserables, Part 3, and we're going to be able to wrap this up pretty quickly. Our goal has been to get a good feel for our four main characters so far. And they're not the only main characters in this book, but these are the ones that are introduced in this first section. Javert is our last one, and he's the police inspector. Now, we get a fairly brief. They're going to develop him further, of course, with several of these others, but we get a good description of his character in the first quote on page 107. We actually learn on the previous page that he was born in prison. You would think that this would give him a very compassionate heart, but it did the opposite, and it can go either way like this. So it says in the middle of 106, Javert was born in prison. His mother was a fortune teller whose husband was in the galleys. He grew up to think himself without the pale of society and despaired of ever entering it. He noticed that society closes its doors without pity on two classes of men, those who attack it and those who guard it. He could choose between these two classes only. At the same time, he felt that he had an indescribable basis of rectitude, order, and honesty associated with an irrepressible hatred for that gypsy race to which he belonged. He entered the police. So he chooses to be, quote, the guardian of society as a policeman, and he views the police as well as the criminal outside the sphere of normal society. Now, that's a kind of an interesting comment. Okay, now, so he feels isolated from the rest of society as a police inspector, and he resents his background. His, his gypsy heritage, his father in the gallows, growing up in prison, he resents his own history. And so rather than coming out compassionate against it, he's angry about it. Now, this gets developed then on the right-hand side of the page. That was page 106. And on 107 then, it goes on a little over the middle of the page. At the la end of the last large paragraph, he says, he would have arrested his father escaping from the gallows and denounced his mother for violating her restraining order. And he would have done it. Excuse me. And he would have done it with that sort of interior satisfaction that springs from virtue. His life was a life of privations, isolation, self-denial, and chastity. Never any amusement. He was implacable, duty incarnate. The police understood as the Spartans understood Sparta. A pitiless detective. Intransigent honesty, a marble-hearted informer, Brutus united with Vidoc, or Vidoc, and you can read that down in the bottom. What are we saying? He is um, marble. <laughs> he is stoic. He is unmovable. not compassionate. He would have imprisoned or um, arrested his parents. It, it was irrelevant. Okay. He is the law. If Muriel represents righteousness with mercy, with compassion, with understanding, with wisdom. He represents the law inviolate. In, in other words, a, a letter inviolate, of, of rules, and, and that's all, all there is. You either obey them or you do not. If you obey them, you are innocent, and if you disobey them, 
you are guilty. And there's nothing, no room, very black and white. And his eye, it says on the next page, his Javert was like an eye always fixed on Monsieur Madeleine, an eye full of suspicion and conjecture. Monsieur Madeleine finally noticed it, but seemed to consider it of no consequence. He asked no question of Javert. He neither sought him nor shunned him. He endured this unpleasant and annoying stare without appearing to pay any attention to it. He treated Javert as he did everyone else, at ease and with kindness. Why? There's two reasons. He's suspicious of him. He thinks he's too good to be true. Why do people honor him so much? Why do they respect him so much? Why, you know, they always hear in the street, Ah, oh, Monsieur Madeleine, Monsieur Madeleine, he's great. He should become, she, she should be the mayor. Most people loved him. A few people did not. And Javert's suspicious of that. He looks uh, and he thinks something's amiss. Something isn't what it seems to be. People aren't like this. So it's that hard heart that braces himself against being duped. Okay. So he is suspicious of him, um, and he also starts getting this nagging feeling he has seen him before, and he can't quite place it until he watches him rescue old Vashelava then under the cart, and he says, there's only one man who's that strong. He was called Jean Valjean the Jack because of his strength. And finally, he is confronted. Um, that means that Javert confronts Monsieur Madeleine with the incident when Fantine is arrested. Let's go ahead and look on page 123 first, and then we'll look on 127. <laughs> 